If you like my videos, subscribe to my Patreon to see even more of them. If you hate my videos, subscribe to my Patreon and you can leave your angry comments on even more of my videos. That'd really show me. Support the habit at patreon.com slash dose of Buckley. Nintendo's that girl in high school who was mean to you the whole time, who you absolutely hated, but you still went home and jerked off thinking about. The internet loves to talk shit about Nintendo, but at the end of the day, someone's buying their systems and games. According to The Verge, Nintendo shipped 40% more Switches in 2020 during a global pandemic than it did the previous year, selling nearly 7 million Switches in only three months, July to September. You couldn't find them in stores over the summer, and while some of that is because of factories being slower to produce them this year, again, they sold more in 2020, when apparently no one has any money to spend, than they did in 2019, when jobs besides grocery store shelf stalker or Uber Eats driver still existed. And part of that was due to the success of Animal Crossing New Horizons, selling over 26 million copies, more than double the amount of copies of the last Animal Crossing game, which came out for the 3DS. In fact, all of it is pretty much due to Animal Crossing. Despite Nintendo getting a little better at working with other companies, oh look, you can buy Skyrim, a 10-year-old game, for $80 Canadian. That's an arrow to the fucking wallet. Anyway, Nintendo themselves famously put out like two or three major games a year. Last year it was Animal Crossing and Paper Mario, which only sold like 3 million copies. But, in a discussion of the console wars, Nintendo gets about as much respect as Ivanka Trump at a meeting of actual world leaders. The discussion is always centered around Sony versus Microsoft, and Nintendo is seen as like, a bop it or something. It's a kid's toy that's not part of a real discussion about video game systems. It's quite the fall from back in the day when playing Nintendo meant playing video games. But online, Nintendo hasn't done itself any favors with the gaming community. Nintendo started this year off by issuing a DMCA takedown against the website GameJolt, who was forced to remove over 379 fan games. That's internet for ripoffs. Of course, that lasted probably all of two minutes. A quick search on the website now shows a game called Super Mario Bros. 5 Ultimate available. <laughs> Gee, based on the screenshots, I can't imagine why Nintendo might feel this infringes on their copyright. But the internet believes they should be allowed to do whatever they want with everyone's content, so they get mad about this kind of stuff. Ugh, I really cannot determine the point of this, says one person. They can't determine the point of why the company who owns the rights to Mario wouldn't want someone making a shittier version of it for free. <laughs> Nintendo have kind of always had their head up their asses, weren't actually listening to fans slash communities, but they're getting way worse really fast as of late. Another person replied to the news with, Holy shit, they are out of control. These were the replies to a tweet that began with, Fuck Nintendo for going after fan games, and cited examples of companies that let the community steal all their stuff. Another reply said, Thank you. Nintendo is up there with the scummiest companies on the planet Earth. They pretty good backstabbers. One of the big reasons for the DMCA claim, apparently, is that Game Jolt reportedly allows fan game creators to earn money via ad revenue on the site. Or, Game Jolt themselves earn ad revenue while hosting the game. So either way, if you at least believe Nintendo shouldn't care about people making fan games as long as no money is being made off them, money's being made off them. Nintendo is generally behind the times compared to other developers. Years ago, when streaming game footage became a big thing, Nintendo made everyone jump through hoops with their Creator Program, which only ended at the beginning of 2019, where you had to basically have your channel approved by Nintendo, and they took 40% of your ad revenue for those videos. Nintendo also issued a cease and desist to a Smash Brothers tournament back in November. What? Nintendo won't even let you host a gaming tournament? Well... It was for the GameCube version of Smash Brothers, and since you can't play a physical, legal copy of the GameCube version online, the cube doesn't have internet capabilities, it required the use of ROMs and a program called Slippy that lets you play online. Nintendo didn't like that, and so it told the people organizing it, It's a me, Nintendo's legal team! Shut it the fuck down! But for all the ways that Nintendo hates other people trying to make money off their properties, they seem to hate making money themselves. Notoriously, Nintendo pretty much never has sales. 
Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, a Switch port of the Wii U's Mario Kart 8, which is now effectively a nearly 7-year-old game, still full price. For all the hate EA gets, fucking Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order came out a year ago and was recently on sale for 60% off, $32 Canadian, for what was originally an $80 game. One has to imagine that if Mario Kart 8 was $20, they'd sell way more copies now than they do at $80. And they love giving other people the opportunity to make money off of them. For retro collectors, Nintendo games are almost always the most expensive thing among 30-somethings who want to buy back their childhood one hunk of plastic and circuit board at a time. Nintendo tried to capitalize on this trend themselves when they released the Nintendo Classic, but then only made a limited number. So what happened? Guess. People bought them up and sold them for more money. The NES Classic had a suggested retail price of $60. Even today, they go on eBay for over $100. The Super Nintendo version goes for over $200. Nothing illegal about that, though. That's money Nintendo could be making if they were still producing the things, because obviously there's still a market for them, but they seem to be fine with other people making money off a Nintendo product. And they're gonna do it again with Mario 3D All-Stars. It's just a port of three old Mario games for the Switch. Cost is $70 US, of course. Nintendo didn't make enough money on Mario 64 back in the 90s, I guess. And in what has to be a first, they said, it will only be available for a limited time and will be discontinued March 31st, 2021. That's coming up in a couple months. So if you want the game, you better get it now because guess what's gonna happen after that? It won't be available digitally anymore, so if you want a physical copy, you'll be heading to eBay to pay $100 or more for it. And I told you about the popularity of Animal Crossing a few minutes ago. Nintendo at times have sold Animal Crossing collectible amiibo cards. Each card is a picture of one of the villagers on it, and you can use them to add that villager to your game if you wish to do so, or you can just collect them. So, these were probably pretty popular too, right? Yeah, on eBay. The fucking things have practically been out of print since the game's launch. Nintendo re-released them in November, eight months after the game came out, by the way. But I don't know if they just released a limited amount, or if we can blame places like Best Buy and Walmart for having their heads up their asses and not having them in stock. But either way, what would have been the perfect stocking stuffer for the holidays were nowhere to be found. And some individual cards are still going for like $20 to $30. And people sell knockoffs that cost more than the individual cards would cost if they were actually available. That's money for a Nintendo product not being made by Nintendo. Nintendo doesn't make more money from limiting the supply of Amiibo cards, or NES classics, or copies of a game. Some guy with an eBay account makes more money. But hey, you stopped a tournament of a 20-year-old game, that's right, Melee is 20 years old now, and you made sure some janky-ass Zelda game that 100 people knew about got removed. But I'm sorry to say, Mario, your profits are in another castle.